Greetings Cosmos, and welcome back to Pokemon Hunter. Today, I'm going to continue exploring the swamp. Oh. Now I can't go back there. So when li two lily pads face one another, I can jump from one to the next, but I cannot jump from, say, here to there. Okay, fair enough. Where does it... Oh, hey. Tangela book. So how do I get over there? I like this gimmick. Hey you, the Book of Tan. An air skill, poison powder. Oh no, I'm being attacked by a Tangela and an Ivysaur. I wonder what a headache does. Oh no, Ferris got poisoned. So for my first playthrough of Elden Ring, I just kind of did whatever. Without using a guide or anything. For my second playthrough, I looked up all kinds of what is overpowered and silly to do. And I wound up picking a weapon not based on that, but I was picking other things based on that, and then, uh... Well, at least one of the things that were over- that was overpowered and silly to do was a bug. And the rest of it was just overpowered, and a patch dropped yesterday that fixed the bug and rebalanced the game so that the overpowered things weren't so overpowered. They're still, uh, what's the word? Viable, I feel. But not ridiculously overpowered. Well, the things that I was using, like, what was it? Frost Stomp? Poor Frost Stomp? Hoar Frost Stomp? How do you pronounce that word? Anyway. The, the Ice Stomp is still a good way of applying, uh, frostbite to a victim. It's just that it doesn't have way more power than the weapon it's attached to anymore. Which is a good thing. Because I found myself often just using the stomp and trying to avoid actually swinging my weapon. And now that I'm forced to use my weapon again you know, like the game was meant to be done. I just... I just wasn't having fun with my weapon. But thankfully... Elden Ring is a game that accounts for you not having fun with a specific weapon. It allows you to... I'm not gonna say easily, but allows you to get another weapon up to par and redo your stats so that that weapon works. I told myself I was going to do a playthrough without relying on a bleed build, but then I switched to a bleed build. And suddenly everything feels so much better.
I win, yay. Oh, hey, there's another Tangela. And then a puzzle room. I am liking the looks of that puzzle room. I'm bad at those kinds of puzzles, though. But I want to get there anyway. Hey, Tangela. Book of Tan. So that had what bind in it? Power 20, stun. Power 20, poison. You know, I wasn't so impatient to get into the place with the tangle, I could have used that, uh, pad to get out. Fire punch, yeah! Ouch. Ooh, it's poison. Unfortunately, if poison does damage during combat, the game does not tell me about that. Flail. Ow. Oh, I'm glad that it failed to poison whoever it targeted. Also, I like the sound effect used for, uh, missing. Some games where, when you, some games when you miss attack use a fun sound effect. Like, uh... I remember early Final Fantasies used the sound effect that I acknowledged. It was neither great nor terrible, it just was. Dragon Quest? I don't know, I like that little musical. When you missed, or when an attack missed you. Just when an attack missed. It sounded neat. Anyway, the sound effect for an attack missing in this game is also fun, is what I'm getting at. If my memory is accurate, then Super Mario RPG doesn't have a sound effect for an attack misses. The attack just misses. Huh. How do I get over there? There was a lily pad down by the Tangela that I ignored. That could have saved me so much time. I guess I can't go that way. Oh, here I go. Huh, interesting. So I have to choose carefully which logs I roll. I guess logs only roll in one direct. 
one direction. Well, I made a mistake. Now how do I reset this? There's no friendly fairy right nearby to reset it for me. Alright, I'm exploring new territory. Time to start getting involved in fights again. Two bee drills. I remember when Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire introduced Mega Beedrill. Wait, was it those games that? Yeah, it had to have been because I don't think Mega Beedrill was in X and Y. And then they kind of stopped introducing new Mega Pokemon in Sun and Moon and then dropped the concept altogether in Sword and Shield. And I can understand why they dropped it, but also it was a fun thing to have. And I kind of miss it. Anyway. Mega Beedrill. In addition to the 100 stat points they give it for Mega Evolving, they rearranged all of its stats to try and make it at all an offensive threat. Resulting in it having even worse defenses than it already had. This isn't a bad thing, it's an amazing thing. They tried as hard as they could to work within the rules they had. They tried the best they could to work within the rules they had to make Mega Beedrill a threat, to make Beedrill relevant. I don't think it worked. Oh, speaking of Beedrill. The Book of Bee. Poison Sting. Power 40 poison. Nice. Oh no, Ivy Sores. Ooh, critical hit. Take that. Green helmet. Okay, so blue helmet, blue helmet. Okay, so. I assume the. Oh, I have two. Resist air. Yep. So let's see. Ferris and. Either Eli or Fat T. 134. Fat T. Alright, I got a new shield, the metal shield. 116, 125, 134. There we go. 
Yep. Alright, I'm going to flee all combats for a bit while I try and reset that puzzle. And then get back to it. And then I'll uh, save and try again tomorrow. I have mixed feelings about patching a game after it's released to change the balance. I mean, on the one hand, if the balance is off, I do feel like is way off and you have a collection of, say, three attacks that are way more powerful than anything else the game has to offer. And I feel like you absolutely should fix it. On the other hand, it feels bad to have all these cool toys taken away. Okay, what if I go this way? Well, I definitely agree that the really fun toy that lets you inflict that was used in PvP to inflict death status on anyone who walked near you was definitely something they need to be taken away. It was fun to make bosses bleed out with it the like three times I used it but I wasn't actually playing the game when I was doing that. Anyway, join me next time when I solve this log puzzle. I'll see you then.